Hi, what is up you guys? It is Big Marv here and welcome back to another episode of Mornings with Marv. This morning we're going to chat about business marketing strategy. What is a business marketing strategy and why does it matter to you? Now, obviously there's three things in there that could really mean anything. But when I say business marketing strategy, I'm talking about the entire strategy that envelopes your brand, right? When people dive into the marketing strategy, a lot of times I see them leave out the next step of things, right? And if you follow my program, you'll know that I'm, I'm telling you always think about what's next. And if you're always thinking about what's the next thing, Right? You'll, you'll never get lost. You'll always know the next thing you need to write about, the next thing you need to offer them, the next thing you need to put in your follow-up to keep people coming back on autopilot. So when you're bringing down your business marketing strategy, that strategy should be something that's going to naturally bring in your tribe members, people that are consuming you and your content, Let make a habit out of consuming you and your content and naturally elevate them up your value ladder buying your other products and services. Right now, how do you do that? Because I, I see so many people, they build, they know, they're like, oh, I know I need a value stack, right? I need a lead magnet, then I need a low ticket product, then I need a recurring product, then I need a high ticket product, blah, 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 blah. And I've seen so many people, they just know they need those things and they develop all these things independently of each other without keeping one cohesive marketing strategy, one cohesive umbrella that takes all these people. So then you get a lead magnet that's targeting one demo, talking to one people, and these people will never buy the next thing. And you can't figure out why. You're like, ah, I get hundreds of people downloading this and opting in, but they don't buy my fucking thing. What's going on? Well, it's because your lead magnet has nothing to do. It's not the next natural thing for them to get your low ticket offer or your recurring offer, right? Your lead magnet needs, you're taking people on a journey. When they first enter your pipeline, start consuming you and your content, you're taking them on a journey, right? And that journey that you should be taking them on is from the lead acquisition, the very minute they enter your pipeline, you're walking them on, on, on a journey. You're giving them bite-sized actionable steps that they can do every day to get in a position to pay you and, and go through the next step of your value ladder and keep going on and on. So whatever they downloaded in the front end needs to align with this second offer. And whatever second offer this is, it needs to align with this third offer, right? And whatever this third offer is, it needs to align with the fourth one and so on and so forth. And if you're a high ticket coach or consultant, you have this core offer down here, think backwards. Like as you go down the line, do all these things align with each other and does it take them on a natural journey to get to this ultimate high ticket offer, this core product you have. And realistically, how fast does it take someone or how long does it take someone to go on that journey, right? Because if your ultimate high ticket offer is targeting people that are making 20K, 50K a month, right? And your specialty is like maybe scaling those businesses and working with those businesses, but your lead magnet is targeting startups, right? Like that's gonna be a six month to a year long journey to put them in a position to be able to afford you and your services down here at your high ticket level. So just make sure that you're targeting the right demo that's gonna take you up on that core offer and take them on that journey from start to finish. All right, so let me know down below what your guys' stack look like. What does your brand marketing strategy look like? How do you hold it all together? This is Big Marv, thank you guys so much for tuning in. One love. What's up, you guys? It's Big Marv here. That was another episode of Mornings with Marv. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you want to come back for more, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel because I got plenty more where that came from. Thank you guys for tuning in. One love.